Let's do this. Indeed. Hmm. Gotta finish my drink. Okay. All right. I'm ready for this. All right. You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani, is in a particularly good mood. Quaffing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Rani will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer, just starting out, and didn't know right from left. It was then that you first met. Shall I open that door for you? The rogue Rani inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin. It's my turn. Voila! Got it. Simple. What? Since that point, you've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. You handle combat, and Rani handles locks. You came to Hydland as an adventurer. Like many of your fellows, you strove to challenge the dangerous labyrinths here. The labyrinths were every bit as perilous as you'd heard. Most were lucky to even have their bones exit the ruins. 
You don't currently belong to the guild. I recommend registering. You can get jobs there and learn skills. Clad in full armor, the Guildmaster, Samuel Joseph, stands in the center of the guild hall like a statue. He appraises you with a look and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment in disrepair. Your travels thus far have left your equipment positively thrashed. You resolve to rectify that before returning. The Guildmaster directs you to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. The magician is even able to repair magical equipment. To be deemed worthy by the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. You conquer a labyrinthine set of stairs, and Morgan Lisley, shopkeeper and witch, welcomes you to her establishment. There is no object's repair which does not fall under her purview, from ornate magic staves to rusted axes. May I help you? What would you like? Adventurers come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals and to purchase magic items. You will visit Morgan often. Your equipment is now unmarred. You should return to the guild and see if the guildmaster deems you worthy. Once again, the Guildmaster Samuel Joseph stands in the center of the Guild Hall, like a statue. With your equipment now in tip-top condition, you request to join the Guild. Samuel issues you a test of skill. What will you do? Your test is to help a warrior named Roland. Samuel says that you can find him in the ancient temple ruins. To prove your metal for the Guildmaster, you head to the ancient temple ruins to assist the warrior, Roland. To prove your metal for the Guildmaster, you head to the ancient temple ruins to assist the warrior, Roland. A magic gate was recently found in the ruins on the outskirts of town. Use that to reach your destination. Many things lie within the ruins of the old Elysian Temple, some quiescent, some far less so. An what? ancient dragon, spoken of in myths, is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization in one night. You liberated a fairy that was trapped in a cave. You have made your way to Roland. At the guild's behest, 
he is looking for adventurers who went missing in the ruins. For you to pass your guild exam, you must help him. Roland tells you to search in the ruins that are submerged in water. Much time has passed since the missing were last seen. He tells you to bring back their bones if they are found dead. You have found the bones of a missing adventurer. Sometimes, the dead have been known to leave behind a message right before they perish. seem to be more nests similar to this one spread throughout the area. You exit the area, taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any other harpies.
You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the Guildmaster. Mm.